explode. <laughs> Dorothy, you have to help me. You have to do something. Honey, there's nothing I can do, so get that look out of your eye and let go of my hand. Morning, Dorothy. I'm not talking to you. I guess you're still upset with me about last night, aren't you? No, I'm upset because Crockett and Tubbs are wearing darker colors. <laughs> Ma, give me a break. The dye gel's on the bottom shelf. does it come on out come on come on out move it out right now oh come on now this isn't fair come on now i'm not falling for those big sad eyes and floppy ears and wet nose the last time i did it ended in divorce and stan couldn't even catch a frisbee in his teeth oh listen Honey, it's, it's not a personal thing. Now, I don't hate you. As a matter of fact, I once had a dog, a schnauzer named Wawa. Yeah, well, I know that sounds strange. But you see, my daughter was only two when she named him during a walk. And I figured between that and number one, Wawa was the hands-down winner. Ah, uh, he was the greatest dog in the world. The present company excluded. Oh, I loved that dog. He was always with me. I thought I'd never be able to get along without him. And one day he died. I cried for a week. And I decided then I would never, ever go through that again. So you see, it's not... Re oh, my God, I've just spilled my guts to someone who drinks out of a toilet. <laughs> Listen, I'm sorry, you are out of here. One Wawa in my life was enough. <laughs> Look, I have had it with that disgusting dog. I have tolerated him as long as I can. He's got to go. But, Dorothy... No buts, Rose. Well, okay, but I'll need a few more days. All right, a few more days, and that is it. Get me a doggy bone. I don't know, Dorothy. I don't think you deserve one. <laughs> Rose, not for me. It's to lure that mud out of my room. That's okay. I'll get him off. Boy, Aunt Dorothy, certainly a grouch. Match. I think so. Let's see. Here you go. Thanks. <laughs> Have you ever looked at fire? I mean, really looked at it? It's beautiful. And it's also amazing to think how much damage it could do if it fell into the wrong hands. Uh, Rose, are you going to be very much longer? Not now, Dorothy. This man is still... We're going to miss our plane. What are we going to do? Listen, Gus, I have an idea. Now, I'm going to create a diversion by bending over and picking up something seductively. Then the two of you sneak up behind him and give him a karate chop. Blanche, what do we look like? Charlie's Angels? I have been told I bear a striking resemblance to Miss Cheryl Ladd. <laughs> Although my bosoms are perkier. <laughs> Not even if you were hanging upside down on a trapeze. See, this is Rob and this is his brother Bob. 
I swear I have seen you somewhere before. Oh, there you are. <laughs> That's a joke. You see, Blanche didn't mention that you were twins. Oh, well, I never met Bob until tonight. Blanche, I told you. Another time, and in future, I really would appreciate some notice before you drop by. Let's say one, two, six months. Dorothy, I have a stack of papers oh. that we need to go over before the surgery. Surgery? Oh, Dorothy. Oh, come on now, Stan. You have to try to pull yourself together. <laughs> Hey, babe, don't worry. I'm a survivor. Everything's cool. The cat who's going to cut me is primo. I said, pull yourself together, not talk like Sammy Davis Jr. <laughs> I only meant that the operation is a very common procedure. Everything's... Then you forgive me? I forgive you. That makes me feel so much better. And that makes me feel so much better. <laughs> Now, Stanley, it's time that you grew up. Happy birthday, Peter Pan. <laughs> Oh, don't worry, girls. The audience had a real good time, and they got their money back on top of it. That's not what we're talking about, you titmouse. <laughs> we were talking about how humiliated we all were by Patrick. Hello? No, Rose is not here. Do you have any idea what time it is? No, it is not party time. It is sleepy time. No, that is not an invitation. <laughs> Sir, you cannot die from that. No, it's just uncomfortable. <laughs> Take a cold shower and the normal color will return. Bye-bye. <laughs> Who in hell was that? Another one of Rose's new friends. Are the babies asleep yet? No, they're pretending. They want me to leave so they can make fun of the way I change a diaper. Oh, Dorothy, that's silly. I bet they have only nice things to say about you. Uh, Rose, I wasn't serious. I know babies can't talk. Oh, yes, they can. Pretty good job of raising Emily. Well, I don't know if we'd have the physical energy, but I'm sure it would be a lot easier for us after all we've been through. What have we been through? Yellowstone Park, Rose. <laughs> Raising children. Oh, darn, I forgot something. Go in your pajamas. <laughs> no, it's not that. I forgot to say my prayers. Oh, Rose, God wouldn't mind if you skipped a night. He's very busy these days. Most of his free time is spent talking to Pat Robertson. <laughs> Hello, God, it's me, Rose Nyland. I'm sorry to be getting in touch so late tonight. Long. Take care of them, God. If anything happened, I just... Rose, thanks for the lovely prayer. <laughs> now shut up and get into bed. Amen. Nice work, Dorothy. Wasn't me. Oh, <laughs> Sophia, that ziti was delicious. Please, tell me something I don't know. Dorothy, you didn't even taste my chippies. Of course I did, Rose. <laughs> you didn't like it. Oh, don't be ridiculous. I loved it. Well, then have another bite. <laughs> okay. Oh, no, the power lines must be down. That's just great. I got 10 pounds of fresh clams in the refrigerator. <laughs> <laughs> Rose, that was delicious. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Who moved my purse? <laughs> Why does it feel so heavy? Now, uh, listen, you know, we, we have these uh, people who are coming to visit and we still haven't decided what our... It's another one of those Scandinavian Viking concoctions. Yeah, 
Yes. <laughs> it's called Gnurkenflirten cake. <laughs> it's an ancient recipe, but I Americanized it. Yeah, so one might say you brought Gnurkenflirten into the 80s? <laughs> Yes, but I'm not one to blow my own Vertuvenflugen. <laughs> oh, you don't have to go. The two of you are like family. I can say this in front of you. I knew it. I knew it. I just knew it. Oh, Stanley, I'm so happy. Dennis had an affair and I've left him. <laughs> Dan, take your damn hands off me! <laughs> Mother Dorothy, and please. And do not I, call me Mother Dorothy. I hate it when you call me Mother Dorothy. I feel like I should be handing out rice on the streets of Calcutta. <laughs> the extra ice. Aren't you finished with the hors d'oeuvres yet? No, I'm still working on the celery sticks. <laughs> Did you finish the decorations, Rose? No, not yet. I, I kind of got sidetracked. Look. <laughs> this is what you've been doing for the past 45 minutes. Uh, isn't he cute? I call him Scotty. Now you can call him garbage. <laughs> Help Blanche with the hors d'oeuvres. Dorothy, you haven't even touched you, Mr. Ha Ha Dog. You're right. <laughs> yeah, I touched him. You're not having any fun. Stop that. You're making a fool of yourself. Mr. Ha Ha's looking at you. <laughs> Are you Dorothy's born act? That's right. Get up on stage, Dorothy! Get bent, ha ha! <laughs> Come on, kids. Let's give Dorothy a great big ha ha cheer! Ha ha! <laughs> Dorothy! 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 says here on my haha -ha birthday list that Bobby is seven, Jeannie is nine, and Dorothy is... I'll punch your heart out, haha. -ha. Dorothy is the oldest. And as the oldest, you get to lead the birthday parade. Here is your parade leader's hat. Mr. Music, if you please. Don't belong this. I know what car you drive. Uh -huh. The parade's over! <laughs> Let's hear it for all the birthday boys and girls! But the fun's just about to begin, because now it's time for your ha ha hot fudge cake. Free to all my birthday boys and girls. Only a dollar ninety-eight to the rest of my little friends. No, thank you. I've had enough. Oh, I think we have a cranky birthday girl. <laughs> you see, kids, when you get a little older, you can get a little cranky. And when you get to be as old as Dorothy, well, you can be a real pain in a ha ha. <laughs> So, Dorothy, why don't you just lighten up, enjoy your hot fudge cake, and make a wish, okay? <laughs> Come on, kids. Make a wish and blow out the candles. I hope everybody gets what they wished for. Do you really, Mr. Hyde? <laughs> Dorothy, if I were you, I'd put the cake down. You see, Mr. Music's brother is Mr. Lawyer. Besides, that's not a very adult thing to do. You're right. I can't do it. <laughs> Mr. Ha Ha? Yes, Bobby? Happy birthday, Dorothy. 